Hi, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute, and today I have a jewelry activity for you, which um, is a, a braided bracelet. And um, to get started, you're gonna need some string, which is a waxed linen. And I found mine at my hobby store, and because it's just gonna be a normal braid, I need three pieces. And for this one, um, so that I can wrap it around several times, um, of course, you can make yours as long or as short as you want. Um, but I measured once and then twice from the tip of my nose to the end of my finger. And then I tied a knot in one end like so. Um, getting this one started, I got a little clip because it's a little bit easier to start out or to hold on to this. Unless you have somebody that wants to sit there and hold it for you, which... I doubt anybody, I don't know, you might be able to find somebody to help you with that. Um, so in the beginning with the string so long, it's a little bit more challenging, but it's really not that bad. Um, I have these beads that I'm going to use today. Um, you need about, for a really long one or the one that I'm going to show, you need about 75 beads. So it's probably going to need to be a cheaper bead, which is totally fine, totally cute. Um, but I'm going to have all kinds of pictures of different ones that I've made um, along the way in the video for you. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to start braiding. And um, I, when I was making a few of these, started counting to see about how far. Um, and it ranges anywhere, I don't know why, from about 14 to 16. So I would go 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And what I found was that it gives about an inch of braiding or a little bit less. And then I take the strings and I comb them out. It's really not, not that hard. So then I take my string and I'm going to add a bead in. And one thing that I noticed was for these beads, I know they work, but I had to lick my fingers and twist it tight, and then the bead would go on just fine. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the bead, put the bead on, and continue braiding. And you would want to do that first little loop there. You do it just a little bit loose because if you pull it tight, then it makes your braid look funny. So just until you get past that first, um, and let me show you so you can see really close what that looks like. My braiding's not so great on the beginning, but it won't show. So that's what it's gonna look like. And then I'm gonna clip it back on and keep going and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And that looks about long enough for me. Of course, you honestly can do it. The good thing with this waxed linen is it has just a little bit of wax to it so your braiding doesn't come undone. You can let go and figure this out. This is about as bad as it gets, um, but it gets better. And I'm gonna add another bead in and then I'm gonna show you a little bit tighter braiding that I got on there. And it starts to look a little bit better. And then I'm gonna just keep on keeping on until I get all the way finished. And you will see what the finished cuteness is. Two, three, six. Okay, so you can see there, it's just a little braid and you're just adding a bead on every so often. You can do it all the same color, you can do it multicolors. I really liked these colors because I think it'll look really cute with a lot of my um, summer 
wardrobe. So I'm going to keep on braiding this and go all the way down just as I've shown you and come back and show you my finished bracelet. Two tips for you. When you're braiding, when the string is really long like this, um, I go down about two or three or four and then take one and pull it out. Otherwise, you get too tangled up and it's, you're taking too long in between each um, braiding step to do that. So just go about halfway and then run your fingers through like so. And then the other thing, tip number two, is after you get down so far, it gets kind of awkward. So the reason I have a clip or a pin or something is then you can move it back up on here and have it pulling tight again for you. So I'm going to keep on braiding. I finished all my braiding and I'm not going to lie, it does take about an hour for this length. It just, no way around it, takes a little bit of time. So to finish it off, I tied another knot in that end. And then for these two, I'm just gonna tie a square knot. So, wait, let me get that through there. Square knot, all done. And then I'm going to trim these just a little bit because I don't need them that long. And then let me show you what. You can wear this for a necklace also, but I like to wrap it around like this for a bracelet also. So I wanted to give you a bracelet idea. And that's what that looks like. I think this would be adorable with maybe even some charms hanging off of it or whatever you want to do, but that's what it looks like. And um, I'm super excited to make all different kinds of colors. Um, I'll show some of the other colors on the blog. So if you want to go to showmecute.com, I'll have pictures of other bracelets that I've made as well as the supplies and uh, what stores I shopped at for my supplies. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check back later for another super cute idea.